My name is Erwan Yusuf, and this is Bushwhack Cooking. Come on, come down. Hey guys, welcome back to Bushwhack Cooking. So today we are making cookies. I know cookies might not seem like the ideal thing to make when you're camping out or when you're in a forest, but trust me, this recipe you're really gonna enjoy. And we're gonna do it with uh, just some dry ingredients and then some olive oil instead of butter because you can't really lug around butter with you. So we're gonna start first with our dry ingredients. So I have my self-raising flour here. I'm gonna use about a cup. I'm just gonna put that into a Ziploc bag. with about half a cup of sugar. And then a little bit of my baking powder here. You can also add a slightly, a small pinch of baking soda as well that can kind of help everything get nice and crispy and light. So you're just gonna shake all that up. To this, we're gonna add just a quarter of our olive oil here quarter cup, so that's where the fat comes from, and just give you that nice crumbly texture you want to use. Finally, one egg. One really ripe banana, and we're really lucky because today's banana is really hot, so these bananas just got nice and mushy, which is perfect for a recipe, so I'm just gonna use half of that. Put everything in the bag, and then I just kinda wanna mush everything up until it becomes a nice dough. So I'm gonna mix all that together. So I got my dough ready in my bag. What I did is kind of use just a, a flat surface to kind of get all the dough into one corner because what you want to do is use it like a pastry bag. And then we're just going to squeeze out our dough so it doesn't get too messy. So I'm just going to flatten it out kind of into a little cone, fold it over onto itself, and it becomes a nice little pastry bag. So I'm going to take, so this is on. I put a little bit of olive oil so nothing sticks really to it. I'm gonna squeeze it here at the top and then kind of hold that. Take a knife, has to be a nice sharp knife, and make a hole. And then I'm gonna make little cookie shapes onto our flat top here. So you wanna give it a little space and make sure you use the part of the flat top where you kind of have the same heat because the last thing you want is some great cookies and some underdone cookies. So we're gonna kind of wait for that to get done. I want to create an oven-like atmosphere here so it gets nice and going. You want that top to kind of bubble through and then we'll flip them over so they get nice and crispy. And you can just keep adding oil right underneath it so you get that nice burnt brown crust that you're looking for. So I'm just gonna lift this up and I hope that I'm kind of ambidextrous. And then I'm just gonna flip them so that the other sides cook equally. This is gonna be very tough to do with a spatula but I will try my best. It's okay if you have some burnt part. Hey, this is camping, can be perfect. So these are like little pancake cookies, nice and fluffy. And then we're gonna add, because I was supposed to add chocolate chips in it, but it kind of got melted, which was not expected. Um, so if, we, if I had the chocolate chips, I wouldn't have added the, the egg, and the egg kind of makes it the fluffier part and everything. So what we're gonna do is kind of do this recipe, and then we're just gonna add the chocolate chips on top, which are literally melted, but it makes for the perfect piping bag. I'm just gonna flip this over because I don't want to touch it because I know it's really hot. And then we got these little delights. Yeah, these look great. And then I'm gonna take my chocolate, do the same thing I did with my bag over there, kind of mush it all together, let out the air on one side, and then just use that as a squirt bag. And that can just kind of go all over the place. Definitely not healthy, but if you're talking about energy, and my camera crew's been dying, so this is something that will perk them right up. Grab one. Mm. Definitely more flaky than a pancake. And it has a great consistency though. It has a nice like crusty consistency. Thanks again for watching. If you wanna see all the other videos of Bushwhack cooking, you can just click around here. They're gonna pop up in a second. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Thank you once again, Columbia, for kind of letting us do this outdoor cooking stint. 
really fun and I do hope everyone goes out and just tries stuff. See you guys.